Halo, selamatika. Hello everyone. Good evening. Sunday. Okay, evening because now it is 6:30. Uh -huh, 6 p.m. and Thailand no any tourists in my school nor any students. Even we have no students, but we still cook. But if you been to Thailand before, if you been to Thailand before, you you will know my school is in the midst of the city, and we have the actually we have the uh, Sunday walking street. But today, no any walking street, no any market. Everything's quiet. But I think if if like this is in everywhere in the world. But anywhere. We should be happy, okay? Nothing made me sad. And we have to be happy with eating. Today, our dinner, we make um, mackerel lactose wrap, okay? Mackerel lactose wrap. We have to do 14 steps, okay? We need to do 14 steps. The first one for the um, vegetable and the rice vermicelli, and then mackerel and the dipping sauce. But for the vegetable, it's, of course, we have to have lettuce and like a lettuce cabbage, spring onion and spinach, anything you can see, you can see. But now we have just only um, the, the iceberg and spring onion because the local market is already closed. And this one is rice vermicelli. Uh -huh. This one rice vermicelli. Um, actually, when you in your country, if you have no rice vermicelli, you can use um, what else? Rice noodle. Uh -huh. You use rice rice noodle, rice vermicelli. It's not too high calorie. And you know, this menu is mostly Thai women like to eat it for diet. Okay, so we have all the. Um, the vegetable and the uh, carbohydrate, right? So we three, and then we use this one. Okay, you can see here. Mackerel, okay. Yes, the mackerel. And uh, when you fry, you have to do quite deep fry. You see, you see closer. You see, we have to do deep fry and low heat. Why? Because if you do a high heat, you burn it first before it's cooked. Okay, so we have to dry the mackerel until it's, it's look good and brown. Okay, we cook for uh, four people in, in like up my team, my family. So we have one mackerel per, per person. So we have um, vermicelli and vegetable and then mackerel and then important thing the important thing the dipping sauce okay dipping sauce so the dipping sauce we have to have this one you can see all the ingredients first okay you see you can come closer to see okay so we have garlic okay and all the ingredients are we put on um on the caption okay garlic lamb chilies of course palm sugar rotted peanuts is like optional fish sauce okay that's very important for thai people and very important is our technique maybe other recipe they don't use this one but my recipe i use this galanga or thai ginger you see closer thai ginger or galanga okay this one why we put here because it's make more aroma okay first time we have to smash the garlic Okay, when you smash the garlic, you can put here. Okay, you can see here what we put inside. But we smash the garlic. Until this smash mochi. And then 
Thai people never cut how many chilies we want. We do a pinch. This is our pinch. <laughs> like this. This is Thailand. We never count one chili, two chili. When you smash, you have to cover. You have to cover like this. Use your hand cover to protect the chili splash to your eyes. Then add the um, galanga. Just half tablespoon of galanga. But this one we cook for for Thai people, and we know what we want. We like spicy, sour. If you strong smash, if it's more mushy, it's more spicy. If you have no pesto and water, use the blender. Okay, you can use the blender. But I like this one. Angry time, angry the COVID, angry the COVID. Okay. Smash it until it's mushy and then add palm sugar. Okay. Still alive. Okay. Palm sugar just half tablespoon. And together. We need spicy, we need sour, sweet, all together. smash to mix everything together but you use blender it's just everything just mix but this one you bring out your your passion with more flavor and you can see you can see now it should be like this you see garlic galanga chilies and palm sugar And then we pick everything in the bowl and we add fish sauce later. Hmm. Here. Like this and then fish sauce later. We don't put fish sauce in the mortar, no. We put here. One, two. Okay, you see? Spicy, sweet, salty. Together. And then we need sour flavor. Don't squeeze the lamb in your uh, mortar because it's not good. I don't know how to say it in English, but this one and uh, this one is not good to put together. I forgot in English word how to say. Then how to squeeze it? Squeeze it on food like this. Sour flavor. But I like spicy, sour, salty, sweet, sweet a little bit. Mackerel ready? It's almost? Okay. Time to test. Time to test, time to test. It looks dangerous. I think someone, someone will tell me I'm crazy. Want to test? Spicy. Salty. Sour, because sour is not enough for me. I like more sour. Add more lamb. You see how to how to cut the lamb? You can see a little bit closer here. You have to keep away from the center. 
and cut like this. You see, we don't use the center. It's easy for you to take this, this seat out. Then split it again. Add more fish sauce. Everything this depends on your flavor. Just like this, we have two optional. We have two optional. This one for the people who love spicy. And this one for who cannot eat too spicy. Because this one is quite strong. And Rochester peanut. Why we add Rochester peanut? Because it breaks down the spicy flavor. Okay. But you actually add more lamb. I like quite sour. More lamb here. One. But someone put some hot water to make more liquid, but anyway, depends on you like. Yeah. Cook and test. Uh -huh. When you cook, you have to cook and test. Okay, this one finished. This one pretty spicy. This one not too spicy. And the mackerel finished. Okay, come here. Well, 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 you keep everything have to wash your hand first so before we do this uh, menu we already wash our hand now to eat it just here come here just a little bit fish like this and miang platu Mian just means put something on the leaf and platu just means mackerel. Okay, Mian platu. Then we put this one. Spring onion. I like I like spring onion. Just like this and then put like this. Mian. Put everything in each pinch on the leaf. Platu. Okay, you can do any meat. You can use uh, Mian. Uh, miang, miang, what else? Any fish you like, or uh, miang pork, miang prawn, whatever, okay? And how to eat it? Okay. Oh, I forgot, I forgot this one. Vermicelli, right? Vermicelli on top as well. So you just put everything and then, okay. We say cheers. Okay, say cheers. Yay. One time in your mouth. And then spicy and crispy with um, the fried mackerel and all the flavor of the sauce. Lovely. Spicy or not, flavor on your taste. You can try back home. I'm sure you can try all ingredients and then you can use any meat. But mostly we use like a water animal, like fish and prawn. We don't use so much pork. No, we don't use any meat. Mostly we use fish, any fish you like, salmon, if you have, salmon, but this one in Thailand is, is not too expensive, <laughs> quite, quite, it's um, seafood and it's cheap seafood, that's why Thai people eat, eat a lot, it's a hot Thai dish, okay, 
if you have any questions to about Thai food or you want to learn something and in your country if you have you know some ingredients you can ask me and any question I reply promise okay and then we have to enjoy with our dinner and see you